Hello and welcome to the Science Fairy. In this video I want to show this transmitter. This is a shortwave transmitter. I have it on 8 MHz now. It looks a bit complicated, but it's actually relatively easy. I had to figure out some stuff to get it working, but right now it's somehow working. I'm still working on some stuff. Also it has no modulation, so you can't play any audio yet but I will do this probably in a part two or something. So we have a lot of parts here, but it's actually relatively simple. We have here a step up boost converter because I don't have any power supply, which I can regulate. And so I have this power supply here and I will power the rest of the circuit with 12 volts here and this is i will show this later i think on the circuit diagram i have basically this powering just the end stage with the transistor i have also here a small fan because some parts are getting hot these transistors are getting hot for some reason um yeah so this is the circuit diagram, I have to put it somehow. All right, so this is the circuit diagram. It's relatively easy. We have a Colpitz oscillator. What's it called, Colpitz oscillator? It's an oscillator with a quartz crystal in there. I have eight megahertz in here. You can put six megahertz or something in there. And this is one stage. This is right here and up to this point here i have it all on uh, the circuit board here so all you're seeing here is this i have on the circuit diagram so we have the oscillator and over a 100 picofarad capacitor then 470 ohm resistor to plus a 10k and a 100 picofarad parallel and then to a amplifying stage out of a BC557B. I think I have a BC548 in there right now. This is working as well. This stage before that with the 470 ohm resistor. Oh yes, um, this is a how it is right now. It's a BC547B I think. Let me see. Yeah, right now it's a BC547B or BC548. The 470 ohm resistor, which is here, um, which I have to plus right now, you put this to ground, if everything is the same, just with the 470 ohm resistor to ground and the other 470 ohm resistor to plus. So this 470 ohm resistor not to ground but to plus so over here and this 470 ohm resistor to ground then i have here a 470 microfarad capacitor i think i have something else in there right now and a 100 nanofarad capacitor to ground in parallel and then we have the driver stage for the transmitter we will drive an erf 510 in here and this consists of two transistors, BC548 and BC557B. This is, uh, it's not focused right now, but these two. And they will drive an ERF510. And here is a 680 picofarad capacitor but right now I have a 500 picofarad capacitor or actually I have two 1 nanofarad capacitors in series to give me 500 picofarads. Um, I will show this later. Then a coil with 12 windings um, around a AA battery. I'm not sure if this is international standard, but AA battery, I think it is. Um, and then I 
640 picofarad trimmer capacitor. Right now I only have a 100 something picofarad trimmer capacitor and put some capacitors in series, but this is not really working so I can't adjust the transmitter unfortunately. All right, I hope this is focused all right. We have here the oscillator with the quartz right here. And down here we have a uh, the transistor for amplification. And then we have the two driver transistors just before, before the um, yeah, 510. And right now I have the connection to ground so uh, this connection to ground bridged with a LED. So this is this right here. This is, would be on ground, but I have it bridged with an LED and a capacitor, but I'm not sure. I think it's a 10 nanofarad capacitor and that's supposed to uh, be better for the transistors because they do get relatively hot and that's why I have a fan right here. You can see the coils I have wound on just like cardboard and like set around a AA battery. And these are 12 windings and these are eight windings. The 680 picofarad capacitor or the 500 picofarad capacitor, like I said earlier, I sorted it between drain and source right here. So these are just some high voltage capacitors because they do have to take some voltage as well as this. This is my setup for the trimmer capacitor. I have this trimmer, but this is not working. This is only, I can only adjust the last 100 something picofarads. And this is really not ideal. I want to build a actual uh, trimmer capacitor for this but this will take a while. The output goes to this light bulb. This is just a light bulb out of a microwave and it just goes to the uh, output to the output right here and then to ground. So output, light bulb and then ground. And this is just to get rid of the RF that's supposed to be on an antenna but I don't want to put it on an antenna, so I will convert it into heat and it will not get radiated out. All right, I will demonstrate it now. I have 12 volts here. This is, everything is getting 12 volts except this, um, I think it's a MOSFET. And I will now put power on here. Actually, I think I do, yes, I do. This is, on 12 volts right now and I'll put power on here right now all right so I think I have to zoom in on the light bulb all right I have to see I have to turn the voltage up slowly and maybe I should turn the light down all right, I will now turn up the voltage and should be starting to glow. But it's not, which is not good. All right, it seems I encountered some problems. I have to find them and then I will continue. Damn, I wanted to show this that the RF power is actually strong enough to light up the light bulb, but it decided to not work right now. Last time I used it, it worked perfectly fine. So yeah, that's the project of this weekend. I will have to find out what's wrong. Probably this maybe got damaged or something, but I can just uh, switch it out. I have enough of these. Um, also, I think, yeah, this is one of them. Um, this is an ERF 510 and these are actually sold um, as fake ones. 
and you can use the fake ones to do this. So if you buy an ERR 510, you might get a fake one and then this is not working. But right now it's not working either with the normal one. But it worked before, so I'm not sure what's wrong. Maybe something shorted out, but no, actually up to here it's working, but yeah. It's very hard to see, but it does glow. I just don't know why the power is so low, but it does work. As you can see, it glows very, very slightly, but it glowed more um, before, so I'm not sure what's wrong. So this concludes that it does glow. I just have to do some troubleshooting because the glow is not as strong as before, but before it was not very strong as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.